Hi friends, I just realized that I did more than 200 experiments in Aero Garden and other hydroponic systems so far. Based on many factors such as productivity, longevity, consistency, easy to grow and maintenance, I came up with 10 favorite vegetables that I can grow again and again and again and again. Let me go through each of my favorite plant and call out the best of growing it. Number 1. Paris Island Cos Lettuce This is a romaine variety. There are so many varieties of lettuce available and many of them work just fine in pretty much any hydroponic system. However, not all varieties have the same productivity and longevity. Even in the romaine lettuce category, there are so many varieties, but Paris Island Cos Lettuce is the best of romaine and the best of lettuce varieties I have grown so far. Some of these plants went for more than 5 months for me in Aero Gardens. You don't even need the expensive Aero Garden nutrients to grow this variety. You can grow this with maxi grow nutrients which is very economical. Number 2. Tomatoes I have grown so many tomato varieties from cherry tomato to a full size tomato and I have grown them in different hydroponic systems. Out of all these varieties, Tiny Tim cherry tomatoes are my favorite. This variety is well suited for many hydroponic systems. I have grown this variety in Aero Garden, I do, Spider Farmer and Lead Pot. It worked out pretty much in all these systems. This variety stays short under 1 feet. Of course, some branches will eventually outgrow and we can trim them. We can even take some cuttings and propagate them to new plants. So, tiny teams are the best to grow in aerogodens and any other hydroponic systems. Number 3. Kale Kale is generally an easy to grow plant, but not all varieties of kale are suitable for hydroponics. Siberian dwarf kale is well suited for hydroponics. As the name states, it's a dwarf variety and it works out very well. I have 11 plants growing in the spider former hydroponic system for 7 months. So kale plants have a very long life. I used it to feed AB nutrients in the past, but I ran out of AB nutrients and I switched to maxi grow nutrients and these plants are doing even better. And it needs no maintenance. All you need to do is harvest the kale as much as you can and give the plants a chance to produce more. If you don't harvest frequently, the plants will slow down. Alright, the number 4 of my favorite is spinach. Spinach is well suited for hydroponics. However, it is not easy to start the spinach. But it will go non-stop once it's started. In order to start spinach seeds, you need to go with wet paper towel method. You can check any of my spinach experiments to learn about how to start spinach seeds using paper towel method. I have tried many spinach varieties so far and all of them turned out excellent. So I debated with myself extensively to determine the most suitable spinach variety. And I think Bloomsdale long-standing spinach is the best. Like lettuce and kale, you can grow spinach using maxi grow nutrients instead of expensive Aero Garden nutrients. Just keep in mind that spinach doesn't like heat. So, as soon as the seedlings are well established, keep the gardens at low temperatures like 60 to 65 degree Fahrenheit and keep the lights at least 4 inches above the plants. Number 5 of my favorite plants is cilantro. Like spinach, germination is very tricky for cilantro seeds. However, 
Once you sorted out the germination, cilantro will grow non-stop. Wet paper towel method is your best friend to germinate cilantro seeds. Many herbs like basil, dill, parsley are well suited for hydroponics, but my favorite herb of all is cilantro. It could be because I use a lot of cilantro and I use it every single day. So, once you sort out the germination and the seedlings are well established, you can start harvesting cilantro and it will go on for up to 4 months. Like many leafy vegetables, cilantro also very happy with maxi grow nutrients. So, it is very economical to grow this herb in hydroponics. I have grown cilantro in Aero Garden, I do and a Hope Garden hydroponic systems and it is always very successful. Next up, the number 6 is jalapenos. There are many jalapeno varieties but not all of them are suited for hydroponics. Portapeno is the best jalapeno variety. Very quick and super productive. It is very easy and straightforward to grow this variety. This is a dwarf variety and it stays under 1 feet but a few branches may outgrow and touch the lights. So just trim them if you notice any. You can grow up to 2 plants in harvest models and up to 3 plants in bounty models. Next up, the number 7 is Shishito Peppers. By name, it's a pepper variety, but it's a type of vegetable for me. Very rich in flavor, but extremely mild in spice level. This variety is not exactly suitable for hydroponics, but we can trim the plants aggressively and manage them even in harvest models. They grow real quick and the plants are very productive. We can grow up to 4 plants in harvest or bounty models. I have grown this variety in Mufka 12 pod hydroponic system and it was a great success. Again, I recommend limiting to 4 plants for more success rate. Next up, the number 8 is cucumbers. I have grown many cucumber varieties like Diva, Beard Alpha, Muncher, but Isnik cucumbers are my favorite. They grow very fast and the plants are very productive. I managed growing this variety in many hydroponic systems. Even though it worked out very well in all the systems, I found that the higher voltage lights makes a significant difference. So, try them with better lights like Aerogoden Bounty Elite for more success. But we can certainly grow them even in harvest models. I recommend limiting to just one plant in any hydroponic system for better success rate. Next up, the number 9 is eggplants. I have tried a couple of eggplants in Aerogoden and I found that fairy tale is the only eggplant well suited for hydroponics. The other varieties are miles away from fairy tale. I don't even like to compare them with fairy tale. So if you want to grow eggplants, fairy tale is the only choice for you. Limit the number of plants per garden, trim the plants as needed and pollinate the flowers as they bloom. Rest is all very straightforward. They have very long life and they produce eggplants again and again and again. Alright, the number 10 is radish. How can this video end without mentioning the radishes? Whether you like the radishes or not, you must try growing radishes at least once to feel the joy of growing. I don't even remember how many times I have grown radishes and how many hydroponic systems I have used so far. It has been very successful every single time. The plants grow extremely fast and you can easily notice the growth day by day. Even the radish greens are edible and I use them in my cooking. Out of all the radishes I have tried so far, 
French breakfast radishes are my favorite. Radishes will be ready to harvest in 20 days and they will mature very well within 25 days. And these radishes are comparatively big in size. Alright, that is all about my favorite plant varieties to grow in hydroponics. Please let me know what is your favorite. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.